Hey guys, uh, so we've been having a lot of requests on how to ride with passengers. So today we will show you how to properly ride with passengers safely and enjoyably. Yes. And Alex is going to be my model, aka passenger for today. So let's start. The first thing first, uh, you have to instruct your passenger how to be a passenger. Behave. Do not wiggle on the bike. Do not move on the bike too much. Try not to stress the, you know, like the weight of the bike. So we will show you how to get on the bike. First thing first is the rider always, always gets on the bike first. So, mom is going to get on the, the bike. bike. The bike is on the kickstand for extra little safety. First do not is do not get on the bike from the right side because there's no kickstand support here. And if you put a lot of weight suddenly onto the side, the bike could tip over closer to the right. The rider might not catch it well. Maybe they're tiptoeing the bike as is. So it so works both ways, both sides, not put your whole weight on one side. So to so probably get on the bike. So, we're so gonna I'm gonna kick stand. You have to make sure the bike is gonna kick stand to make your life easier and make sure the, the bike is stable and safe. So now they're on the kickstand side. I'm gonna look over my nice seat right here. I'm gonna swing over my leg right onto this passenger peg and then I'm gonna well, basically jump on up. So here we go. The rider's ready. Sometimes the rider can grab their front brake to make sure the bike doesn't wiggle at all. And here we go. Nice little. After the passenger gets on the bike, you instruct the passenger how to hold on to you. I uh, tell my passengers not to hold on to me. I ask them to hold on to the tank. Uh, the reason behind this is when I'm accelerating or when I'm braking, the passenger can control the, the movement forward or like back and not to like kick me in, in my head. Right, so the main common thing that happens when people are not having a fun time riding together is if the rider is always holding on here, if the rider breaks, you basically go, go sliding forward, hitting the helmets a lot, which is not fun, especially if you, you know, made some bad financial decisions and they're really expensive. Um, on top of that, if you do slide up forward into your passenger, you tend to stress them out a lot. They have to end up putting a lot of pressure on their wrists and putting a lot of pressure on the front suspension of the bike. Whereas if I kind of switch back, have my hands around the tank, even if she does decide to brake, I can brace the tank with my hands, not slide forward, stay in place, and not stress her out as much, as well as not hit the helmet. It does make for a bit more of an enjoyable experience for you both and the less painful for sure. So to get on the bike and to hold on is obviously the great first step in knowing how to not move forward and back. However, riding a motorcycle, obviously, somebody will have to turn and the motorcycle will lean. Usually it's the fun part, unless it's your first time being a passenger. Because typically as the motorcycle feels like it's going to one side, your body and your head is going like, oh man, we better go against the other side. And basically you guys are leaning in two opposing directions. Not only does this make the motorcycle harder to operate, but, you know, it makes for a bit more of a stressful experience for the rider because the rider is kind of really struggling to get the bike to turn. You're not feeling comfortable because you don't trust what the rider is doing. And there's a little miscommunication and some trust issues going on. So, that's a lot of trust issues, yeah. So keeping your butt in one place, try not to move on to on it too much. And just, if the rider is leaning to the left, lean your body a little to the left, if you're leaning to the right, lean your upper body a little bit to the right and you will notice that if you try not doing it versus doing it that the motorcycle feels more stable planted both for you as well as for the person operating it which will make in a better and more safe experience because the motorcycle is now turning as it should as well as a more trustworthy enjoyable experience for you because you're not basically fighting what the rider is trying to do and after a ride, of course, everybody, it's time to, uh, fortunately, say goodbye to your passenger. So. so, to get off, it works the same as getting on the bike. Make sure to put your kickstand first and then let the passenger get off the bike. And ask your passenger, do not rush. Make it as gentle as possible. And uh, here we go. Alright. And there we are. That's it. So, few things that we want to mention before we go. Yes. If you are a new rider, like your first season, give yourself some time. Don't rush. Uh, Don't rush to get any passengers. It's uh, a huge responsibility. 
you're still going through your learning curve so allow yourself a little bit more time to get used to the bike to get more comfortable on the bike to get more seat time before you get any passengers if you decide to get the passengers make sure the passengers is wearing gear so, you know like if you're wearing gear you have to make sure that the passenger that you're taking is safe just like you are um, anything else and then for the rider if it is your machine there's a few things you should keep in mind one tire pressure is the tires are the only thing keeping you connected to the floor and if you read your owner's manual which unfortunately few people do you will notice that you have much different tire pressures for when you actually have some extra weight so read your owner's manual adjust your tire pressures properly so the motorcycle will handle as much as uh, as predictable as you would expect otherwise the handling can be a bit lazy or sloppy and now some other behaviors to keep in mind is with two people on board if you're riding now your brake distances your stopping distances have to be readjusted because now the motorcycle will not stop as fast as it usually does because you do have an extra person on board um, as well as slow speed maneuvering you now feel a little bit more sensitive but the reason being usually when you give a little bit of input the motorcycle starts to lean you can be used to that but now that small input that small lean with the extra weight that bike will now start to fall or tip in just a bit quicker and if you're not prepared for that it can make a little bit of an uncomfortable experience so just be wary of that adjust your stopping distances accordingly because now you are also responsible for somebody else uh, and the main thing is is just to have fun communicate with each other if some certain things are bothering you don't just keep up with uh, don't just put up with it because essentially chances are you're not having fun and your passenger's not really having fun let's say if i'm a passenger if some, something bothers me make sure communicate it to the rider tap him like uh, to the stomach area or tap him to let him know that something is wrong so he could pull over safely and let you do whatever you need to do to readjust yourself and right? in other days there obviously are other communication methods like bluetooth could be nice if you guys are doing some local riding but a nice little double tap or a triple tap or if things are going really bad maybe like a little stomp on the head <laughs> we'll uh, send the message right away thank you for watching us today and we hope you enjoy our brief little instructional video hopefully it helps some of you and if it doesn't well i'm sorry about that but i hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless yeah. ride safe oh. if you have any questions please uh, comment below we're going to reply to everybody and uh, hope you enjoy your riding yeah. Bye -bye. Bam. If this doesn't work out, I hope uh, everybody remembers me. Let's think about many things. Maybe like um, we should we should talk about it. Let's just. going through such um, mixed emotions fear panic fear again and I, gotta lie, I think a lot of it is, is trust issues and I'm not sure if it's just from being a passenger or from the relationship you know <laughs> 